With that down, let's talk about one more thing off the top here, Rob, and that's this. Now, there's been a lot of drama going on with Star Trek. Uh, not all no. of it bad, actually, some of it like really, really interesting. Like everything from the TV stuff that's going on right now, we obviously, we got Picard on the way, which a lot of people are excited about. Then there was the whole thing about Quentin Tarantino. Was he going to direct one? And that's kind of disappeared. Who knows if that's going to ever happen or not. But then a little while ago, they announced that Legion showrunner, uh, Noah Hawley, was going to be directing one. And he just got into the news again here talking about the Star Trek film that he wants to do. And he's saying as soon as he's done with the, what's the show he's working on right now? Is it Fargo? Fargo, I think. The trailer just dropped for the new season and oh my God, does it look good. A lot of people are happy about it, but he's now saying as soon as he's done with that, that season, he's moving right into Star Trek. And he was basically making some suggestions here, Rob, that his Star Trek is really going to go more back to like some of the original feel of the original Star Trek series. Not so much an action series, although there was some action in the original series, but it was really yeah. more focused on more philosophical things, societal things, you know, things like that, dilemmas. But what, what did he say? Creative problem solving, I think is one of the phrases he yeah. used uh, in talking about going down. Now, it should be noted he hasn't even started writing one letter of the script. He's just been coming up with this concept. He's been busy on other things. Then he's going to go into this. Rob, in the era of the big blockbuster, do you think Noah Hawley going back to more of the roots, the DNA of the original Star Trek series is a good move for Star Trek at this point? How do you feel about it? Well, somebody should because we haven't seen it in the last 10 years. <laughs> Um, no, I, look, I'm a huge fan of Noah Hawley as a creator. I think Fargo has been excellent, judging from the trailer that dropped yesterday. Chris Rock is one of the headliners of the of the new season of Fargo, which looks phenomenal. I loved Legion. I think Noah Hawley uh, is an incredible creative and a terrific showrunner. And hearing him say this is really interesting. Whether it's going to happen now with Viacom and CBS together as one entity, I think I honestly think Star Trek is in flux right now. I mean, obviously, yes, we've got Picard coming, we've got Discovery coming, but between those two shows, they've the most expensive television ever made. And Star Trek, the thing about Star Trek was it it it's the exact opposite. It, it was expensive when they originally made it, but the budgets were always kept under control. Uh, Rick Berman, who produced 25 seasons of Star Trek over 18 years, never went over budget, never had a problem. Uh, keeping the show under control. And I think Star Trek has always been about, like you said, there's a, a taste of action, but it is really phil philosophical and it is really about creative problem solving and it is about optimism. And I like hearing him say this. I'd be curious to see what he as a creator could do, although I'm dubious it's ever going to happen because I think now that Star Trek is back together, there's no Paramount on one side and CBS on the other. It's now one entity again that we're going to be seeing, I think, a new direction in Star Trek. And I don't know. I think Noah Hawley is the last vestiges of the people that have controlled Star Trek for the last 10 years. So we'll see. Uh, I would be curious and certainly uh, excited about him as a creative taking over on Star Trek. But again, I, I, I don't know if it's going to happen. Like you said, he hasn't started writing the script yet. It certainly hasn't been greenlit. So we'll see where it goes. All right. Question here, guys, for you is... What do you feel about these comments? Maybe you're somebody who loves the new blockbuster aspect of Star Trek that they've done. Maybe you're somebody who's really been yearning for them to get back to those original roots of Star Trek. What do you think about Noah Hawley's things? I personally think he's going to come down somewhere in the middle. But what do you think they should do? Jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. All right, guys.